give you a bit of introduction of this Instagram Live. What is it all about? What are we going to do? So this Instagram Live here today is going to be called as the Road to Semiconductor Industry. The discussion is going to be around this topic. Let me quickly welcome my first guest of the evening. Hi, Ranji. Hey, hey, Suti. Let me quickly invite our second guest also, so that we all get started together. So my second guest for today evening, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, is Miss Sunidhi Purohit. Yeah, nice. Hi, Sunidhi. <laughs> oh my God, she has a nice guy. Oh, oh, okay. So I will have two questions for you. First is, how was your journey? How difficult was it to transition from a software engineer to a VLSI engineer? And second is, Spica works, as we were discussing about, right? Like. I see a lot of aversion into people these days, right? When we talk about the service sector, there's a lot of aversion, okay? So, how did you take Spikerworks as your first job? What were, what were your thoughts? And what all do you have to share with us today? Over to you, Ranjit. Yeah. Today, our audience wants to know that, you know, uh, you've been a part of Maven Silicon, right? And you enrolled with us for advanced PLSI design and verification process, you landed in a dream job in a dream company called Synopsis. <clears throat> How did Maven Silicon help you? So you have heard and faced a lot. Online, offline, right? You've been like a part of both the setups, Sunidhi, right? And I don't know, we, we are two years post-pandemic, right? So Maven Silicon right now, uh, you know, definitely the, the offline training is something that everybody knows about us, right? But during this pandemic, we came up with something which is called blended RN, right? Which was, again, an online training, again, a lot of features which you will be talking about exactly what happened there, right? But there's so much of a version, Suneezy, in people's mind, right? When they still hear about online training, and you were someone who actually transitioned from offline to offline, online, sorry. How was it? How did you take it? So maybe I will come back to you again, right? Uh, Ranjit already spoke about business communication. How did he prepare for it? And, you know, how did the, the classes basically? So when we talk about business communication training in Maven Silicon, that is something which, which, which I like to say that it's our USP. That is something which we do uh, probably an extra from, from the VLSI training, design and verification training. How did these classes help you? One, you, first you told me about the interview preparation. How have these classes also helped you into your corporate journey currently? Amazing. And Ranjit, what do you have to say about the, the whole preparation? So we spoke about your journey with Maven Silicon and probably how did, how did Maven Silicon act as a catalyst, basically. Can you break down uh, a bit about the importance of each subject and any interview tips that you have for the people around and what are the things that they should be keeping in mind when they are preparing for any interview? you know, sent us on all our Instagram handles also. Very interesting question. What is that one thing that the VLSI aspirants should not do? It's not a to do. It's a not to, not to do list. So Ranji, yeah, what is your take on that? Uh, there was this one question wherein uh, the person said, uh, Ranji, I think I'll just take that one last question from the audience. I know that you both have a, uh, have a day ahead of you work-wise as well. But one last question, Ranjit. Uh, somebody asked that they have completed uh, five years. In, I mean, they have complete they have completed their education, and there's been a bit of a gap between education and now. Can they be a part of the industry? Do you want to answer that? Mm -hmm.